Uh, good. You know, I mean, uh, obviously we had the reserve game on Monday, and so we wanted to give them a day off. And today we just had guys in different groups, you know, as we were recovering because some guys played a lot of minutes over that five-game stretch, some guys a little bit less. So we just tried to tailor it for each group. You had Damian and Dylan back in for that. Well, first of all, Damian has been out for a few months. What, what did you see in him? Well, it's good for him to get back on the field. He's happy about that, you know, but obviously, you know, he needs to work on his fitness now and his game timing. And always when you come off a longer injury like he does, the first uh, couple of weeks are good, you know, because you're full of energy and, and everything's great. And then you go into a little bit of a lull. And then you got to come out of that lull. So, you know, it's probably, probably, he's probably four weeks away from being near the top or at the top of his game. And Dylan? Uh, Dylan a little less so because he was out not as long. So, you know, for him, just a matter of gaining his fitness, make sure that he doesn't have a setback in terms of his uh, injury. Uh, so just trying to maintain him from that standpoint. I still don't think he's at 100%, you know, but he's getting much closer. I know there could be some changes next year, but in its present form, are, are the reserve guys getting enough games? It feels like it's like six to four to six weeks between games these days. Uh, yeah, and a little bit was, you know, we canceled the game in between there just because of our schedule, the way the overload went with the Open Cup. Uh, so we had to cancel that. Um, you know, it, it, things when, uh, you know, things move forward and we have our own affiliation uh, with the USL team, then, you know, it'll make it a lot easier for those guys to get games. Is it nice with things slowing down a little bit this week, no midweek game? Well, it's nice not to have a midweek game for a change, uh, you know, because we've had enough of those. And next week we get another midweek game, and then we get a little bit of a break. Uh, and then we start again on a run where we have two midweek games. So, uh, you know, it's good to be able to catch our breath a little bit right here. What kind of uh, challenges does Colorado present this weekend? Colorado's, you know, every team is difficult. Obviously, they're fighting for a place in the playoffs, so they bring that uh, that ambition with them and that uh, intensity into their game. Uh, with the injuries that they've had, you know, I know that's disappointing for them. Uh, it also makes it a little difficult to prepare because you're not quite sure, you know, now that they've had, basically they're going to have had 10 days between their last game and our game. So what new wrinkles is he going to throw in? Is he throwing some guys into a different position? Are you going to see Mark Birch at center back? or, you know, or clued that center back, you know, so you're not quite sure what lineup he's going to throw at you. Did you talk about Chad Barrett? Yeah, Chad's done well, you know, he's produced in games, uh, you know, for us and obviously scored some key goals, some big goals and, uh, you know, come off the bench to do well. He's also been, uh, you know, thrust into a starting role at times and he's done well. Uh, you know, I have a long history with Chad going all the way back to, to 2004 when we worked together with the under 20 team and uh, you know always felt that he and I understood each other you know and ha had a good relationship and I think I think that's helped uh, you know because I think he's comfortable here uh, he's originally a Northwest guy unfortunately not from the state uh, but uh, you know but he's uh, he's a guy I think who's comfortable here in this club and when you're comfortable you get confident and you play better as well what did you think of his celebration dance on Sunday I don't know what that was, uh, you know. All what I know is uh, uh, whether that was a ballerina, whether that was a little teapot, uh, whatever. But uh, uh, you know, they don't have to worry about Dancing with the Stars. He doesn't have to worry about that show at all. Do you have any thoughts on uh, Jermaine Jones both coming into the league and kind of how he was allocated or whatever? Uh, you know, obviously there's mechanisms in the league uh, that, uh, you know, that are there and, you know, it's a little bit uh, similar to the Dempsey and the Bradley situation and, uh, you know, as long as Chicago feels okay about it, uh, you know, we move forward. But I think having Jones in the league is a positive, you know, because he's, uh, he's definitely a quality player and the more quality players that are in the league, uh, the better the teams are and, and the better our league becomes. You touched on the notion of a first 11, first choice 11 on Sunday. But looking at this team, is there a true kind of first choice 11? I, know, I read somewhere that we've played like 24 different starting lineups, so I don't know if there is, uh, you know, a first 11. I mean, you've had injuries and little aches, and we've got guys missing, so, you know, so you'll see, you know, what team we can put out against Colorado, but then against Chivas, it all changes again because there's national team call ups and. Papa's gone, you know, during that period of time, so then we got to mix it around again. So, uh, you know, if everybody's healthy and everybody's there, I have an idea what it would be, um, you know, but, uh, you know, right now we haven't had that situation, so I haven't had to make those final decisions. You've got a lot of guys that don't, a lot of teams in this league would be 
the starters, though? Does that, that, that's got to kind of help aid that process as well. Yeah, sometimes every team has situations where they have a little bit of an abundance at certain positions. I'm, I'm sure there's guys uh, up front sitting on the bench of Vancouver that could be starting at other places. Uh, you know, so there's, the, you know, teams sometimes have a little bit of that overflow in certain uh, areas of the field. But, uh, uh, you know, we're happy with our depth. That's something we always try and build, but, you know, and that's a, it's important for the depth in case you have injuries and you can bring guys on, but it's also important for training because the better your quality of training is, the better your team becomes in games. Good. Thank you. Okay.